Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to teach you a really cool mental math trick of how you can multiply any two numbers that end in the digit 5. I'll explain this process with several examples, and then I'll show you how you can use it to solve many related mathematical problems. At the end of the video, I'll give you a proof of why this method works. Let's say you want to multiply 15 by 35. Both the numbers 15 and 35 have a last digit of 5. So there's a quick way we can solve this. The steps are to add the product and average of the leading digits of the number. We multiply that result by 100 and then we add 25. So let me go over these steps in detail. The numbers 15 and 35 both end in the digit 5. For the rest of the calculation, we can ignore these digits of 5 and focus on just the leading digits of the number. The first step is to add the product and the average of these digits. We find the product by multiplying 1 by 3 to get 3, and we find the average by taking the average of 1 and 3, which is 2. So we add the product of 3 to the average of 2 to get 5. And that's the hard part of the computation. The rest of it will be easy. We multiply this by 100 to get 500. And finally, we add 25. We get the result of 525. And that's our answer. 15 times 35 is 525. Let's do another example of this technique. Let's say you want to multiply 65 by 75. Both of these numbers end in the digit 5, so we can cover up the digit 5. We now want to multiply these digits to get 42, and we take the average, which is 6.5. Adding this together, we get 48.5. Now we multiply by 100 to get 4850, and then we add 25. So we have 4875. And that's our answer. 65 by 75 is 4875. You can also do this for digits for numbers which have more than two digits. Let's say you want to do 35 by 115. Both of these numbers end in the digit 5. So we cover up the 5 and we only need to do the calculation for the leading digits. The product of 3 and 11 is 33. The average of 3 and 11 is 7. Adding these together, we get 40. We then multiply by 100, and finally we add 25. This gets a result of 4,025, and that's the answer of 35 times 115. So you can actually use this technique to solve other problems. Let's say you wanted to fill 14 gallons of gas at $3.18. That would be the problem 14 times 3.18. Now you can't use the technique because neither of these numbers end in 5. But you can estimate by considering a related problem. What if you wanted to fill 15 gallons at 315 cents per gallon? That would be the problem of 15 times 315. So now both of these numbers end in the digit 5 so we can use the technique that we just learned in this video. We cover up the 5, then we take the product of 1 and 31, which is 31. We take the average, which is 16. We add these together, and then we multiply by 100 and add 25. So we get that 15 times 315 is 4725. If we convert this back into dollars, we get 15 times 3.15 is 47.25. Now we only wanted to fill, this is to estimate filling 15 gallons, but of course we only need to fill 14 gallons. So if we wanted to fill one fewer gallon, we would be multiplying 14 by 315. So we subtract 315 from 47.25. So we subtract $3, we get to 44, then we subtract 15 cents, and then we get 10 cents. So we figured out that 14 times 315 is 4410. 
And this is extraordinarily close. We wanted to solve 14 by 318, and that's 4452. So using this process of multiplying two numbers ending in five and doing a slight modification, we actually were able to get within 42 cents of the exact answer, and we could do this all in our head. So why does this technique work? If you're multiplying two numbers that end in five, that's multiplying the binomials 10x plus five times 10y plus five. The x and y are the leading digits of the number. If we expand this out, we get 100xy plus 50 times x plus y plus 25. Now 50 is one half of 100. So we can factor out 100 and then we get 100xy plus the average of x plus y. And finally, we add on 25 at the end. And this is the formula we've been using in this video. xy is the product. x plus y over 2 is the average. So this is adding the product and average of the leading digits. We're then multiplying by 100. That's the 100 part. And then finally, we're adding 25. If you like this video, please check out my book, The Best Mental Math Trick. It includes techniques like this, complete with applications and examples and uh, mathematical proofs of why they work. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And you can check out all my books. There are descriptions in the video description.